to the big breakfast and why is it a whopper? It's Friday the 11th of October. It's a what is it? It's a Friday. Anyway, look, every week, every Friday, because it's a Friday, friends, we like to get someone with a rather big obsession to come in and be lightly grilled and sautéed about it. Uh, and with us here, our anorak is a telegerist. Because now it's time to play... Challenge Anorak. And we will! Oh, yeah. There we are. Ben Chamnis, welcome. Ben, you're a telegerist. Yes, that's right. What on earth is that? It's um, a phone call detector. Really? Yep. Wow. That's what it's it. That's the um, word that's, for phone call detector. That's what it is? Yep. Right, so when did this all start? Well, I started um, about two years ago now at Easter. But mm. I started a long time ago when I was just... A little boy really just picking them off the floor, but then I stopped and started again. Okay, so, so then you started what? Just buying them? Well, no, I thought find them in the boxes, and then I started buying them a couple of months ago because I thought, because you're not going to find them anymore because so many people collect them. So I started buying them. Yeah. I mean, I still find them as well. Really? Yep. So what was the most recent thing you bought? What, 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 what have you been buying? Just well, to, to, take a, a spin through your card collection. Well, I bought um, new chip cards that have just come out a couple of um, weeks ago, and uh, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Like Are they chip cards? What's special about them? Well, they're, they're smart cards. They're, they're not the normal strip. They're just they're not the, um, the, the chip. They're not thick. They're clever cards. <laughs> right, OK. Um, and what's your most expensive one? Well, this one is... I got. I bought this from a phone card fair yeah. for £3.50, and that's worth about £130. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. How, how, how can that be? What does it say? It says B-I-T-S. Bits. Bits, yeah. Bits. <laughs> Why not? Um, so why do you think that's so expensive now? Why is it well, worth it? Because that, there was only 500 of them made. Mm. And, um, oh, yeah. fact, that looks fact. And, and, um, and there's not many left of it, I think, in mint, but this one is. Ooh. And you've got, some, you've got a little celebrity one as well, Sarah Spencer. Mm, yeah, this is... Like <laughs> What's this one here? Well, this has got Shan Davis's eyes on it. Oh, oh, now that yeah. must be worth about all. Oh, oh, 10 10p. 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 OK. Fantastic. OK, now, yep. you've proved you have a knowledge of phone cards as a telegerist, but have you really got what it takes to be an anorak? Yes, I think so. So, let's find out, because we're ready to play Challenge Anorak, so Yay. let's get on with this. I like that kind of Right, answer. now, Sharon is up there, so let's take a look at your specialist subject, which is, surprisingly, phone cards. Hooray! OK, so now let's take our, our questions from the floor, and first of all, let's go over to... Dave, you want to do it first? Yeah, I'll do it first. OK, Ben, when was Britain's first phone card introduced? 1981. Yeah, correct. One point! Yeah. 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 OK, yeah. our second question is going to be from uh, Melissa. Helen. 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 Look at you. Look at you. Helen. How long have I worked with her? I should know that. Helen, come on. How much is Britain's most expensive phone card worth? About £5,000. Five grand? Yeah. Is that right? That's absolutely right. Yeah. Helen, Melissa, thank you for that. OK, and now, finally, our question from Barry. Oh, no, it's Nicholas, sorry. Now, this is interesting, because you mentioned the chips on the card you bought recently. Yep. Name one of the two chips found on British cards. Semen. Semen is one of the two. He's oh, fantastic. A bit of tension there, Ben. There was a bit of tension. I could smell that. Yeah. But we got three out of three, and that's fantastic news. Big round of applause, Ben. I tell you what, Ben, you've actually uh, won yourself a prize. It's a fantastic prize. It's a, a, a year's subscription to your favourite magazine, which of course I didn't know existed. So that's the Telecard Collector International. Yeah. Fantastic. So there you are, Ben. You're welcome, sir. So there you are. That's that. Now, if you are a bit of an anorak and you fancy coming on to, here, to this show and being grilled by myself and the, and the crew, uh, then why don't you write to this address? It's Challenge Anorak! Not Keeper's Cottages! Oh, oh no! Nothing in 3, 2, and And of course it is the <laughs> breakfast, okay? <laughs> They're here with us, they're live. Their single went straight in at number three. It's your gorgeous, and it's Baby Bird! Yes! <laughs>
upon it You got me to hitch my knees up And pull my legs apart You took an Instamatic camera And pulled my sleeves around my heart Because I must say, for you know, for the creation of many babies around the world. <laughs> How does that feel? Well, I mean, it feels okay. You know, people tell me that. You know, it's just as long as I don't have to support them, I'm okay. <laughs> the Godfather of love. He's quite a big guy. He used to be a footballer yourself, didn't you, American right, footballer? Right. Making our Ben look very tiny. Oh, that's okay. Ben's in the house. Oh, yeah. I thought you were at least looking worried. <laughs> that's a, that's a session with big guys, haven't you? It's incredible. It's because I'm a big girl. So, Alexander, you're big. Um, okay, well, stand by because in a moment uh, we're going to be checking out. Uh, we're going to be going to Vanessa, who's going to be uh, taking a look in her boudoir and, uh, uh, and having fun. Uh, but now it's time for our big decision. So, we've got to make one. Let's take a look at it. Ola, you want to leave dinner? I'm off. Do not have more for a session. I right, if I'll nick what's the draw cap. Hi, I just said then, my name's Phil, I'm from Manchester and I love talking backwards. The problem is, my best mate Michelle hates, and I mean absolutely hates, me talking backwards and wants me to stop. So do I do what I want to do, carry on talking backwards, or do I give up and do what my friend Michelle would like me to do? The big decision. 
there you have it, our big decision. Talking backwards, it's a real pain in the Ezra, isn't it? So what we've got now is to uh, find out exactly what our panel thinks about it. Our panel is here, we've got the love god, Alexander O'Neill! <laughs> Just say one word. Any word that Alexander will say, I guarantee will be sexy. So just say one word. He better start talking straight. Oh. See, just send the shivers down, lady spines. Uh, and, and Ben, perhaps in a couple of years you'll be able to do that, but who knows. Ben, you're here with us. He's our, he's our anorak. Uh, and uh, he's going to be helping us decide our decision because you're, you're collecting telephone cards and stuff. You're brilliant. And Alberto here as well, and it's been uh, underwater. Your Alberto's going to be a sexy actually no. as well, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's also very big, Sean, yes. Richard and Alberto. Richard's very big. It's strange and motley connection we've got here. I don't know. Is it odd? So let's just let's just go back that again. Phil Tickles, who I thought was from the Mr. Men, obviously, um, likes talking backwards. And should he be allowed to do that? Alexander, what do you think? I think if, we, if, we, if it really turns him on, do it, Phil. <laughs> yeah, he should be allowed. Don't yeah. just criticise Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just criticise. No. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Cheers, <laughs> uh, ben, what do you oh, think, I think fine, you know, um, it's very annoying, so I don't think you should do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a slop, 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 <laughs> Stupid though, imbecile. And I'm sorry, I'm going to remain in the middle and as usual as a judge. I'm not going to. Be, are you going to be impartial? I am going to be very impartial. That's the word I was struggling for. Tell yeah. us, Sharon, what do you think? Um, I think obviously he's getting a bit irritating to all his mates, so he should pack it in and do it a lot less. Because he's not tall enough. Yeah. Okay, now what do you think then, jury? Get up, okay. So who thinks, who thinks that basically he shouldn't do it? He should continue talking backwards. Hands up. Oh. Not, oh. Even, not, even, not even a single member of the crew joined in. Oh, that's, that's, oh even Bill. Okay, now who thinks he should give it up? Yes! yes. Baby, give it up. So everyone but Alexander. See, Alexander, you sort of floating voter there. Did you, did you think basically that he shouldn't give it up? He should go with it. Thank you very much, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, so let, let's speak to him. Let's speak to Philip, Mr. Philip Tickles. Hello, Philip. Hiya. So uh, what do you think to that, then? Absolutely devastated, but the absolute <laughs> love god of soul, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you very much. I've got all your tunes and you've stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy. She's talking about you for a long time, which is nice. Nice. So that's, um, today go. Brilliant stuff. Now, if you have a decision that you can't make up your mind about and you'd like us to help, this is your dress to write to. <laughs> it is. Here comes the big breakfast. Lockkeeper's costumes. Oh, Lock London is ready to you should join in because then we just basically get you on the show and say you're very sad. <laughs> and we don't do that so much fairer than that, really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Mm. Oh, sorry, Richard, there we are. Oh, it's me, is it? Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Jenny watching for a reason to be decidedly, decidedly cheerful. <laughs> the helicopter crew now back to the house to rick and sharon don't forget it's the weekend it's time to party Yay! Thanks, Yay! Mike, Mike. Thanks a lot. we have to thank everybody else helen story their lovely son luke of course we have to thank the wonderful alexandra and neil and also john williams and baby bird as well for their wonderful song good luck to that his voice is so deep that whenever he speaks, his fish in the Marianas Trench go, huh? what was that? <laughs> okay, now next week we've got a great selection of guests. We've got Dennis Quay, we've got Alison Stebbin, <laughs> Eric Idler, big hero of mine, is going to be lying there. And the snap is going to be getting together, I wish we could, with Terry Hatcher, Keanu Reeves, and Swade, which is fantastic. So make sure you join us next week. Thank you to Richard Orphan for Thank coming you. in. Thank Have you. a great weekend. Yes, now you take care and make sure you join us on Monday for the Big Breakfast, 7 to 9. Channel 4. Goodbye. In the pool. In the pool. Thank <laughs> you.